mathematics exam. We're going to make a video series that goes over this exam and shows sample problems and gets you ready for this exam which could earn you college credit or could in some cases depending on where you're working actually help you get a raise because this could count as credit beyond your masters. So what's on this test? Well keep in mind that this test is intended for people who are not math majors so we're not going to get into too many obscure details and different subjects right it's going to be a general overview and uh, it's actually aimed at people who are not right or do not have um, a knowledge of advanced math and advanced mathematics so this is going to be a basic a basic overview of college level math but not in the sense of the math that a math major or someone studying advanced mathematics would see. So what does that mean? Well the, the way this test is broken down is we have to look at sets. That's one area right there. So you know we think of sets, think of stuff like uh, Venn diagrams and Cartesian stuff, like Cartesian products and unions and intersections intersections and subsets and what else would be in this section um, well, well looking at sets we'd have disjoint sets and equivalent sets and of course the list goes on I'm just listing off something that fall in that area I mean, that's, a, that's a small portion of the test another portion is the logic section and uh, for logic I guess you can just think of truth tables it's, it's going to be a big focus there um, and conditional statements converse um, inverse contrapositive all those all those different um, terms will pop up the contra contrapositive I can't fit it there sorry and then we have the real numbers and what what they mean there is that we're going to look at um, let's break this down we have prime numbers and composite numbers right of course odd and even numbers if they have factors divisibility um, absolute value rational versus irrational rational and irrational um, different kinds of intervals like open versus closed intervals positive and negative numbers all that stuff will be in that, that area and uh, we'll have some functions and graphs of functions and graphs oops oh, and graphs of those functions and of course that that implies that everything that goes into graphic a function like the domain and the range for example right pretty common stuff in college mathematics uh, composition of functions um, and, and then simple trans simple transformations simple transformations oops ran out of room again there sorry and also we're going to be looking at uh, probability and statistics and um, probably probably some some fair things to look for in this category are mean median mode I would say also bar graphs line graphs circle graphs scatter plots histograms <coughs> pie charts um, all, all, all kinds of stuff falling in that category uh, simple and compound events, so events that happen right after each other um, in a succession. And then just different algebra and geometry type questions. Uh, anything from logarithms and exponents, let's say, to complex numbers to perimeters and triangles, properties, circles, Pythagorean theorem, parallel and perpendicular lines, and so forth. I think perhaps the biggest section of this test will probably focus on the 
probability and statistics. But we're going to break down a little bit from each section on this exam and, and look at types of sample questions you would see. So I hope that helps.